It's called the Bot Cave, and inside these doors could be the future of manufacturing. It all starts with something called the Thingomatic, a device that will print rigid objects layer by layer with extreme accuracy. When people get a MakerBot, it's because they want to make something or they want to be part of the future where instead of buying things, you download them. And so they print out a mix of practical objects like code hooks uh, to you know, wonderful things that give them satisfaction like puzzles and contraptions and gifts and busts of themselves. And it's a, so it's a mix of practical and fanciful things. Thingomatics are also known as maker bots. They can create objects up to five inches in diameter, all from a roll of ABS plastic. And you can see there's a, a piece of, it's like spaghetti, and it goes down into the machine and gets heated up to 220 degrees Celsius. It comes out like super, super fine angel hair spaghetti, kind of like a glue gun, and it draws with it. When it's done drawing one layer, it lifts up and draws another layer. And just like that, layer by layer, your object begins to emerge until it's all done. MakerBots build objects based on 3D models, which can either be created from scratch or downloaded from websites such as Thingiverse. As these tools get better and as the community gets better with using them, we're seeing folks take things like, um, for instance, like the, when I uploaded my shower curtain rings, within two days someone had taken that design and added spikes to it and said, here is a spiky shower curtain ring, it looks really cool. The popularity of MakerBots is growing. The company has already shipped more than 5,000 units and the orders keep coming. But the full potential of MakerBot lies in the future as increasingly captivated clients devise new and previously unimagined ways to use the device. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.